But what can a warthog do about lions? A mother warthog weighs in at around 73 kilograms. A male lion weighs in at 180 kilograms. This is not a fair fight. Oh, but it looks like mom has a plan. Ah, the warthog's face is a shield, blocking the entrance. And I can vouch, that face is wide and bony. And look at those tusks. And even the lion is trying to figure out how he can get around that. She is protecting her piglets, and Spot Swat, too. Whoa! That's one cool defense. And it's safe for the piglets again. Ooh, getting Spot Swat away from his new mother? That's going to be a lot tougher than we thought. Uh, a lion's back! No, that's just my stomach growling. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, let's have lunch then and come up with a plan. All right, let's review. Our cheetah cub has been adopted by a mother warthog. The mother warthog is very protective and has a very hard head with tusks. And is tough enough to hold off a lion. Hey, Martin, will you stop eating so loud? Me? I thought you were the one that was eating so loud. Huh? Hey! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Warthogs are fast! Oh, yeah, they can run up to 56 kilometers per hour! <gasps> to the termite mound! <laughs> <sighs> That was close. Those are some really hungry warthogs. I'm still one really hungry crab brother. Whoa, they're making a mess out of our lunch. These warthogs will eat anything and everything. Yeah, total omnivores. Vegetables, roots, tubers, insects. Yeah, they're messy, <laughs> but cute. Hey, but isn't Spot Swat hungry? Cheetahs are specialists. They're very, very picky eaters. A cheetah won't even eat meat that's a few hours old. It has to be fresh. And a cheetah's favorite prey is a gazelle. Chris, I think we have another mission for you. And you can use a specialty of yours. Climbing? Nope, something else you're really good at. Ooh. Activating gazelle powers and luring cheetahs to chase you. But Spot Swat is just a cheetah cub. How do we know he's even ready to chase gazelles? Well, there's only one way to find out. Get on out there and do your gazelle prongy prancy prancy prong. <laughs> Here's Spot Swat. Hello, cheetah. Come on, Spot Swat, I'm a gazelle. Oh, but you can't catch me. Gazelle prongy prongy prancy prong. Keep going, Chris. It's working. Come on, buddy. But don't run too fast, Chris. He's just a cub. Uh, he's not acting like a cub. I'll see. Zag, zig, zag, zig, zig, zag. Zag and zig. Ah! Hey, buddy. Let's put our suits into spy mode so the squid can't see us. Oh, yeah. This calls for full dragonfish cloaking power. Deep sea invisibility on. Let's just hope colossal squids can't see our red lights either. It's working. We can see him, but he can't see us. Now, let's put these sharp jaws to use. Yes! These dragonfish teeth are impressive, Dragon Glow. It's a good thing we're super huge dragonfish, because otherwise this squid would never feel it. I'm feeling that! Ow! Hey! The jaws work, but there are so many tentacles! Whoa! Ah! 
Miss me? Keep going, Martin. Take that. And that. And one more. I'm not sure why, but it seems like he's loosening his grip. Oh, it's us. Martin. With dragonfish power. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Over here! Can't catch us! Okay, get ready to make a break for it if you can, Jimmy. Ready? Ready. Now! We're, We're free! free! Woohoo! <laughs> Now, finally, we can get back to our search. Deeper than we've ever gone before. New species with new creature powers? Here we come. Ha <laughs> ha, let's do it for science. 